Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be cleansing my hair and I wanted to show you guys how I take those steps to do it because obviously you have to break it down your hair from the previous style and make it applicable for cleansing. So today I'm going to be using the Soul Tangles Master Hair Cleanse Curl Detox and as you all can see I've used this before and I absolutely love it. I already love making my own Ben's Night Clay um, concoction, but buying it in a container already made for you definitely shapes off a lot of time off a wash day instead of making it yourself. And I have used it before and I love it. And I'm already, after the first application, I'm already at the bottom. So I do have another one right here when I run out. So I have two and I'm going to be using to cover my head. And I am working from an old twist out. Well, an old twist. From old twist. And I've just trimmed my hair. So, yeah, my hair is freshly trimmed. It, I just felt like I should just check on my hair. And I trimmed it prior to me doing this application. So, using this, I can't wait. My hair feels really good. It looks good. I'm going to break it down a little bit more. Alright, so this is the section I'm starting with. And once again, I've used this Curl Detox before. I absolutely love it. It smells like a cologne and it smells really good. It doesn't faze me. It smells like a cologne because obviously it's going to be rinsed out of my hair. But this is the consistency. It's like a clay. If you've ever made Ben's Night Clay before, it's legit like a clay. But um, my objective is to get my roots. And as you all can see, I'm starting on dry hair. And I'm just really trying to get my roots. I decided to use a clay today because I just really feel like I need to reset my hair. I've been just feeling, it's been feeling really tired. So I just want to reset it and make sure it's doing good. I have not um, like took down my twist for two weeks. I have refreshed it. I've been spritzing it with the Sultangles King drink. But I'm definitely making sure I get my scalp because this is really good at cleansing the scalp. So I'm not being shy. Now some people may want to do this on damp hair. If you want to spritz your hair with water, that's fine. I personally just love using it on dry hair since I have low porosity hair because it helps me to have some slip to get rid of any shed hair. And it just makes my hair um, ready to go for deconditioning, washing. I just love working on dry hair. So this section's already covered in the Curl Detox. It feels good. I'm going to add a little more to my edges. I do not forget my edges. I'm just making sure my scalp is coated as well. But yeah, I wonder how you guys, well I hope you guys are doing good. I, um... My school, well, the school district, K-12, um, is closed for about two weeks. We do have a teacher work day Monday, but other than that, um, yeah, we're going to be out for work for about two weeks, which is really nice. I've been wanting a break, so. Yeah, this year's been really stressful because this is my first year teaching. But, yeah, I'm just working this clay into my hair so everything is covered and getting cleansed and worked through. See how long, like, how much it elongates my hair. Like, I love clays. And I love using clays over um, shampoo anyway. So, yeah, I, I definitely reached for this. I should have bought so many more than I did. I love 
this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get ready to do the next section. So you can see I'm massaging it into my scalp just to make sure I am getting my scalp coated. It wasn't really good. A good excuse to massage your scalp for blood circulation and to make sure the product's distributed. It is really good at cleansing the hair. You guys will see how much my curls pop at the end. I'm using a lot of clay. I really don't have too much shed hair because like I said, I've um, trimmed my hair prior to me um, paying this into my hair because some of my ends were looking a little tired. But for the most part, I'm actually proud of myself because my ends really haven't been looking that bad. Like I'm doing good at keeping up with them. But yeah, how are you guys doing? How are you guys preparing like um, for the weeks ahead? If you're a teacher, me personally, I literally don't know what I would do these two weeks. Um, I'm off from work. Um, I haven't even tried going to the store or anything lately. I have um, some friends on Facebook that have been saying they've been trying to go and it's been crazy. So, yeah, I haven't even tried to go. I've been doing a lot of online shopping lately. I don't really go in the stores that much. And I only online shop for like clothes and stuff, but I'm not really leaving my house right now for anything. Because I know people are like at the stores trying to get what they need. I'm just trying to stay out the way. I love this clay so much. I'm really thinking about for my next wash day showing you guys how I make my it's my clay from home if you don't want to drop the penny for pre-made Vince Knight clay because this stuff's already made for you for your convenience but I usually make mine at home anyway but during the holidays when it was discounted I decided to buy it because I've never used Sultan Gold's Vince Knight clay I'm glad I did though it's good I just don't think I would spend $16 on it, but I mean, it is good enough to, but it's just really steep for me. Yeah, it's doing so good. I clump in my curls. I can't wait to see how my hair looks when I rinse it out because I just trimmed. But yeah, I've been um, kind of thinking about what I want to do for the summer. Um, it's crazy because I was going to sign up for the gym. And I'm glad I didn't with um, this virus going around right now. So I'm not tempted to go or anything. So I'll be sure to get my edges. Sorry if you guys hear any noise. My dad's having company this afternoon. He has like these guy days with his friends where they just like get together and watch some games together. So this week they're coming over our house, so. Yep, so far so good. I'm really loving this clay once again. I'm going to split this in half because I really want to make sure I'm getting my scalp very well before I proceed to the next section. Yeah. 
I'm trying to think of something to talk to you guys about. Um, let's see. Today, well, I know one of the things I really want to do with my free time is to read. And I'm also going to paint a little bit. I went to Michael's a few weeks ago and bought some canvases. So I'm going to try to paint today in my free time. And I've been starting to think about, like, filming videos of me painting. If you guys think you might be interested, let me know in the comments below. But if you're not, it's okay. I'm not going to be disappointed because I'm not known for painting. My passion is hair, but I do love all kinds of art, like painting, writing. I just want you guys to see that other side of me. This is what my hair is looking like, very stringy <laughs> at the moment. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm just twisted up like this. while I move to the next section so it can stay organized. So, I'm moving to the next section of my hair. Oh, I for almost forgot about this section. Natural hair problems, I'm telling you. I'll just save this for this section so I can have it straight down the middle. Anyway, going to the back. looking like I forgot a twist this section in the back of my hair I think is going back really good it was breaking off at one point especially when I came back from staying abroad I can talk to you guys about that in another video um, if any of you are in college and you're planning on staying abroad like I did I can cut that video will help equip you to know what to pack for your natural hair because they really don't have too much abroad so yeah I'd rather just help you guys pack and not have to go through what I went through because it's hard when you're abroad in a different country and they may not have the products that you're used to they had some but not a lot so yeah this is my section it kind of broke off a little bit, but it's going back really good. Like, I'm very proud of it. And I'm still just doing low maintenance styles like twists, braids, and I think. a little bit more into the scalp over here. All right. So this section is looking good. really working it in my scalp.
This has such good slip. Like I can't tell you guys that enough. And I am pretty much done with this section of my hair. Alright guys, I'm switching to the new container of the Master Hair Cleanse Curl Detox. This is what it looks like. It's really thick.
guys so I just want you to see how well this clay is defining my hair and once again it feels really good and if my hair does look a little shorter once again it's because I've trimmed my hair but my curls look so good like they're really peeking through now hope you guys can see I'm really good looks really good and this is usually what happens when I put Vince my clay in my hair it defines it really good and it cleanses it really good
Alright guys, so I'm done with my hair. As you can see, I have four sections and a bantu knot. And I'm going to just let this set um, for the majority of the day, honestly. Like, this night clay is really good for your hair and I just really want everything to get cleansed. Just going back over my edges. And my nape. I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a plastic cap and just let this penetrate in my hair. Like I said, I don't know how long, but I'm gonna just let it sit for a little bit while I live life a little bit. And later I'll come back to show you guys what it looks like when it's rinsed out. I'll see you soon. Bye. Alright guys, this is the left side of my hair. And once again, I just wanted to show you how much definition the Master Hair Cleanse Curl Detox by Sultankles left my hair. Like, the curl definition's insane. Literally insane. It's ready to be deconditioned. It feels so good. I just used the Sultankles Master Hair Cleanse. You see how defined my hair gets after using just a clay cleanser like my hair is naked right now and you see all this definition I just really wanted to show you guys this because this is why I love clay treatments and I opt to use them <clears throat> instead of shampoo alrighty so this is the same section of hair with deep conditioner and I just wanted to show you guys what this section looks like with deep conditioner so you can see the importance of having a good cleanser that works for you. It just sets your whole wash day up for success. It took me no time to apply the deep conditioner I'm about to show you. And I'll give you guys a more in-depth video of this deep conditioner, but this is the one I'm using by Sultanicals. I love it. This is the consistency and I've warmed it up a little bit in a hot water bath, like I always do prior to me um, putting it on my hair right after washing. But yep, that's the deep conditioner once again if you want to purchase it. It smells really good. It has a good whipped consistency. It is leaving my curls really happy. It's just not defining my hair as much as I thought it would. But nonetheless, it still feels good and I definitely would still repurchase it. 